Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one, man. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a little story right now. If you guys are new to the channel, you better smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Today, we actually have an original searching for giant or fishing for big bass, whatever you guys want to call it, fishing for giant bass episode where we go out to new locate, not only new locations, we go out to the same locations. We go out to just cool little places, whether it's on the boat, whether it's on the kayak, whether it's on the bank, and we hunt for those giant bass. And that is exactly what we're doing today is going to hunt for them. But before we hop into that and I'll show you what I'm throwing, be sure to go check out the old big bass energy clothing boys right here. Look at it. It's hot. It's on the website. Go ahead and go copy some. It's selling fast, so you guys want to make sure you get one before it is all gone. Join the movement, guys. If you guys are wondering what Big Bass Energy is, it's about having that mindset, about having that positive attitude, and going out there and catching big fish every single time. So be sure to join the army. If you guys send me some pictures, I don't think he likes the merch, man. If you guys send me some pictures of yourself in the Big Bass merch, I will actually end up posting them not only on my Kicking the Bass TV story, but I actually built a page directly for you guys where I just share you guys' posts with Big Bass Energy on it. Go ahead and go give it a follow on Instagram. It's at Big Bass Energy, pretty obvious. But uh, yeah, go give that thing a follow. Go tag me in your photos and blow that thing up and I'll post you guys up. Anyways, I'm only using one rod here today. And if you guys are wondering, it is the Louis Mac 2 right here in the green. And I'm only throwing in one bait this is kind of the bait i'm going to stick to today and hunt for these big fish i'm just kind of in the mood to throw a fluke today so that is exactly what i'm throwing throwing the old six cents hooks right here which are very very sharp these are ewgs four aughts you guys can go check them out and use my code that i'll pop up on the screen if you're curious and i also got katie in the mix today you guys know katie you know we uh filmed some video what, what do we film we filmed the boys versus girls challenge right yep. so we're back at it today and also i want to try to get you to catch your pb that's like a goal so your pb is like i swear it's four eight man you can you can talk all the trash you want I but know. i swear it's four eight four and a half pounds i'll say four and a half but i think it's more like five so yeah she has a pb of a spotted bass that's four and a half and then a large mouth that's about four and a half around there i want to say it was four eight i'm just saying well we got big fish in the tournament we got big there. fish in the tournament but i'm pretty sure it's four eight and if you had another fish that was pushing five i don't know man i mean i have the footage i can go back and watch it well anyways guys we're gonna hop into today's video be sure to smash that like button let's go ahead and get started try to find those big bass let's get it like like out here see where i just casted Got him already. First cast. Gosh, first cast. Are you kidding me? That's a decent one too. Solid two and a half. Gosh, that might be a three. That's a three. Look at that, boys. That's a <laughs> solid two and a half pounder right there. To start off the big bass video. It's been a while since I've done like a searching for giants video fishing for giants video it started off first cast that's insane i threw it out there i let the fluke sit for a second and i popped it twice and he already was taken off of the line that was just insane i must have landed right on his head that was just the luck of the draw right there six cents hooks if you guys want to check them out go peep them i can get you 10 percent off These things are freaking sharp that is a fatty we'll get a weight on him just to do it beautiful fish guys i think he's about two and a half i don't think he's three he's two and a half on the money two pounds eight ounces which is two and a half boys exactly what i just said and that is a beautiful thick bass right there on the fluke first one to start off today let's go first cast that's insane it never happens to know look at his little fat bug go right there on the fluke let's get it katie now it's your turn five pounder throw out there where i did i let it sit i did that and then let it pause you got him oh my gosh no way is he big Katie's got a slow. Oh my god, is that your PB? Oh my god, it's a four pounder. Katie, you got a freaking slodge. Next cast, same same spot. They must be stacked out there. Come on. Okay. Come on, girl. That's a good one. That's almost four pounds. That's four yeah. pounds. Oh my gosh, Katie. Look at that. That is such a good fish. That's a four pounder all day. That's a fat one. You only get him on the bank for. Look at that girl. Just think about that, Katie. <laughs> what do you think? First or second cast, I guess. That's four pounder. You think? 
That's a poor pounder. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna let you hold him, or you want me to weigh him first? And then Let's weigh, and then I'll hold him. We can release. Okay, that was crazy, guys. I was I, I didn't even like pick up my rod yet, and I was like throw like right there, right where I threw. That's a four pounder, Katie. Oh my God, it's your PB. Is it? Four pounds, 11 ounces. That's almost a five pounder. There you go. Guys, I just weighed this for Katie. My camera ran out of memory, so I don't know, but it was 411. Yeah. So this is your PB. This is your PB right here. What you gotta say about, why are you so quiet, man? I'm in shock. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be harder to reel in. He kind of didn't fight me as hard as I thought he was. Yeah, he didn't really do did? much, did he? No, so. That is a I wanna get him back pounder. in the water. Yeah, let's get a picture though. You want a picture? Right off the bat. <laughs> it's so let's crazy. Get another one. It's you can just cool. toss him, I know it's a little far. He'll, he'll swim off. Oh, not like. I know. He's, he's cool, he's go. cool. Look at that. Katie, give me some on that. You're, what, is, what is wrong with you? I'm excited. You are not excited. I, I come just, on, I'm, I'm disappointed. Don't think that's my personal best, though. That is your personal best, hands down. No. The one on the river was felt bigger. He felt bigger, but he was a 4'8. I don't know, man. That's, That's a 4'11, cool. girl. You just caught a five pounder. He didn't even like <laughs> jump out of the water. I know. That was crazy. Was, when you hooked him, he seemed big, though. An, Guys, we just got out here. I literally threw my first cast. I caught one. It's going to be a good now. day. Look now. What? They school one? Throw in there. Throw in there. Get another one. I can't. Well, that's a pretty good cast. I can't. All right, let, just give it that pause. Look at that. Another pop. Well guys, look, first cast, I slammed one. Next cast for Katie, which was her second cast, she nails her PB right off the bat. That was our main goal, is for her to catch her PB. Her PB was on the river in a tournament, it was like 4.8, and that was a 4.11. That was almost a five pounder, which is crazy, but uh, let's see if we can catch some more big ones. You see that? Oh my gosh, Katie, look at that. That was a huge, I was laying right on top of it. That was a huge. Oh my God. Oh, guys, this is insane. You gotta get him out of that grass. Oh, he ain't that big. He ain't that big. He jumped, he looked huge. Oh, <laughs> that was a three pounder all day. What the heck, Katie? That was crazy. He came off right at the bank. Just that is a beautiful fish. How the heck are we smacking him this good that quick? He saw a huge boil. Look at his mouth, guys. He's been jacked up. See the side of the mouth? I don't know if that's from somebody hooking him or what that is. If you guys know, leave a comment down below, but that's a solid three pound bass right there. That's crazy. My heart's racing. He, he literally, I tried to flip him and he just came off right there. That's a beautiful little guy. Came up and just you wanna boiled. Weigh nah, I'm not gonna weigh him. Oh, well, you want to? No, All right. Say you say that All right, this is my guess. All right, what do you think? He's either three on the money or he's a little short. So I'm gonna say two and three quarters to three pounds. You ready? Cause he's way bigger. He's more? Three pounds, two ounces, baby. Everybody says I don't, don't know the weights, man. We got him on the money out here. That's pretty good. I can't believe that. You guys should have saw the boil before I cast it in there. Just massive boil. I would have expected a way bigger fish, but there might be some bigger ones out there schooling. Cause that's the third cast in that same spot. There's there's something they're sitting on. It might be a little hole, but uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful bass. So I'm giving him a little toss. There he goes. Sun's right off. All right, Katie, let's get back in there. Fall time of year, guys. Fish chasing bait up shallow. This fluke presentation over here near this grass. It goes through it so well. It's also a slow bait, but it's something that's moving. And it's something that imitates a shad. They were munching the fluke. I haven't had a fluke by this good, and I couldn't tell you how long. They like a fluke today, boys. This is uh, super, super sunny out. It actually feels amazing. Sure enough, they're going to eat this fluke. That was crazy in the same spot, two good ones. I actually have a jig tied on, guys. Oh yeah, it is. That grass is like elevated off the bottom. But guys, I got a big jig. This is a hybrid jig by six cents. You guys know I've caught some toes on it. Um, in some of the late, on the latest episodes, I caught some spots on the near on it. And I kind of want to throw this around. I haven't had a jig bite in a while. And I'm just kind of feeling it, man. By a while, I mean, you know, a few days, but you know, I, I just haven't had like a crazy jig day, so. I kind of want to throw this out here and hook a slaunch on it. Um, I feel like the fluke's just so good because there's all this vegetation, all the grass on the bank, and that fluke just darts through it so well. Um, I got one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is a giant. 
or he's stuck in the grass. What? Is, I got him in the side. No, I don't. What? It's a tilapia. It's a tilapia. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a tilapia. I literally just hooked a tilapia. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's my first tilapia. Yo. That was my first cast on a jig. Did tilapia, this is such a stupid question. This is such a stupid question. I've never handled a tilapia. Leave your comments down below. I've never had to do this. I don't have a, do they have teeth? I think so. It doesn't look like it. I think it's a lot of you have teeth. He looks kind of cute. Should be one right here. This is the opening. It's like a little canal that opens right into this pocket. This should be the money shot. Oh my god. He ate it like a top water. I barely got a hook in him good. He's not even big. I barely got my hook in him too. Oh, now you're in the grass. <laughs> oh man, look how small he is. Nah, he's a small one. It's like a pound. He ate it like a top water. I give him that, yeah. Little fat guy on the fluker. Well, not much, but still a fish, pretty one. Ate it like a top water. I'll take him. I would come. Yeah, there he is. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's a bass. For some reason, he looked like a pickerel. <laughs> it is long. He ain't big, but God, they munch that fluke this time of year, man. Oh, he's just a poundy. Oh my gosh, come here. You're not gonna believe this. Let me guess. A crawfish. Nope. That's a tail. To a what? Bait fish. Look at this. I want you to see this. This is insane. See that tail in the back of his throat? Look at that. That's a bait fish. That's why they're eating that fluke so good. This time of year, guys, pushing the shad up shallow. That's what you get right there. Look at it in the back of his throat. Oh, the tail's still moving. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, let's get him back in the water. Good little pound guy. Did a little backflip. I feel like there's big ones in here was that? I don't know. What the was that? I don't know. <laughs> what was that? That was literally probably a hundred pounds, whatever that was. That was probably an alligator. You think that was an alligator? <laughs> that could have been like a carp or something. Or an alligator. That's so scary. Or a 10 pound bass. I have no idea what that was. That was something big. Oh my gosh. Oh, he ate it like a top water. He pulled my tail right off. Look at that. I literally just put this fluke on too. Right when I was about to pick it up out of the water, he hammered it. That's a bummer. All right, we're gonna pull one of these on real quick. I wanna see if I throw it back in there and he'll eat it. I never got a hook in him. He might have saw me though. That's my only problem. He ate it last minute. Right here. He's still there. Yes, he is. That was the same fish that hit me. Yeah. I was about to tell you to come over here and throw in. That's what I should have done. He like followed me in. I think he followed me off the drop off. Look at that. Look how dark he sees from the, from the grass. Yeah. See, cause you know where the grass line used to be. The grass died off, but I think they're still sitting on that. He like followed me up and ate it like a top water. He did the same thing again. These hooks are so good. I don't understand. I'm serious. I've never had any hooks. I can just not get out. <laughs> Look at that, I got a piece of his skin on there. Little guy. All right, not a giant. He already ruined my fluke again. I put three flukes on in the matter of like 20 seconds. They're in here. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a good one. Oh, no he's not, what? No, 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 he was in the grass. He felt so big. Like right when I hook said he went right down in the grass. I got him in the bottom jaw, maybe that's why. Yeah, when I hook said he felt huge and like my rod did that like whistle. Look how he has himself hooked. How in the heck am I gonna get that out, buddy? How the heck do you get hooked like that? God, these hooks. That is a fat guy, look at that. That's still another smaller one, but he's got a little belly on him. 
Got a little belly. He ain't bad. Still not what we're looking for. I thought I had a good one. He just drug himself down in the grass. Oh my God. Oh, I backlash. And I was trying to get it out and I had- That was like a four pounder. I know. I was trying to get it out and it was just sitting in the water and it came up and got it. Are you kidding me? I couldn't out of the, it. Out of any, I couldn't Out of any time. Out of the whole time we were here, the bite that you get is when you're backlashed. Wait, you watched him eat it or he was just taking off? I like felt my whole pole start hugging. So he was just taking off with it? Yeah. I didn't even twitch it yet. Maybe that's how we need to start working it. Maybe that's why we're messing up. We might just need to like let it sit. It's fine on you, yeah. Now I'm done with all your shit. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in the head. So I swear to you that's it. I'll be leaving in a sick. Wasn't getting what I said. Leave your messages on red. I told you to stop it, but you keep on shopping. I don't mind.